what is up guys so today i want us to compare and contrast these two applications that's test tune and pixel lab all right so at the end of this video we are going to determine if test tune is going to kill pixel lab or pixel lab is going to stand its ground right so i want you to follow me through this video and let's compare and contrast these two applications and see the pros and the cons of each of this application right so without further ado let's jump into it good so first of let's open the test tune application right so this is the interface of the test tune application this was a previous work i did in uh, test tune application right so this is basically the interface and the interface is just as puzzle lab right because when you look at everything over here, let me point out everything so that you see. This is the layer panel in Pizzlelab and this is it in Test Tune, right? This is the grid tool that you all see in Pizzlelab. This is the zoom in and out tool. And this is the plus that you can use to import image and also do a lot of stuff, import shapes and stuff. This is the share button. This is the quote button. This is the save button. And this is the drop down arrow for things like auto save and stuff like this okay so this is basically like what a puzzle lab right so let me quickly take you to puzzle lab and show you something right so this is a puzzle lab interface and the same things we saw in test tune these are the same things over here we have there this one the quote the share the save the plus the layer the grid the zoom and stuff all over here right when you look at this uh redo or undo button over here there's the back arrow we have the same thing in the test tune application right this is it over here okay this is it over here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this test so that everything gets activated to see exactly how it looks in pixel lab because in pixel lab i've activated this test so that's why you are seeing this edit button and this delete button so as soon as i've activated the test over here in test tune you can see the edit button and the delete button popping up right here okay so this is just like what puzzle lab right this test tune application is more or less like a puzzle lab but there are some things in puzzle lab that are not in test tune application basically one thing right and there is something that test tune application can do and puzzle lab cannot do that thing at this moment at the time i'm recording this video puzzle lab cannot do that thing and i'm going to show you that thing right now now before i even go ahead to show you that let's talk about the project right so this was a sample work i saved in test tune application just to see how the project is going to work right so this is a project if i tap on it it will open like that but i'm not going to tap on it okay i just save it uh, to show you in this tutorial like projects also work in this test tune application so this these are the default backgrounds in test tune application right so quickly what i'm going to do is to maybe uh just tap on this one and this is how it's going to appear right and if i tap on this one this is how it's going to appear and like this okay so what i need to tell you right here about test tune application is you need internet connection for it to work that is one thing unlike puzzle lab for test tune you need internet connection for it to work let's assume you don't have internet connection and you open the application the test tune application it will not come right unless you connect your internet before it will come but for puzzle lab you don't need internet connection for it to work it works perfectly offline right so that is one thing you need to take note of right and when i take you to puzzle lab there's one thing uh for us to do that let me quickly delete this test and import a shape no probably i'll import an image okay just a random image over here let's see okay let's see i'm importing this image right so when you tap on this hexagonal tool and you come down you will see something like color filters all right we have this color filters over here this thing is not available in test tune that is one thing that is not available in test tune okay this is what puzzle lab is having over a test tune application right so take note of this comparison right so let's go to test tune application and select one 
you know let's let's bring in one uh image from gallery and see if we will have these two activated over here right so when you go through this you will realize that what, there is no color filter right the color filter in face lab is right after this opacity all right it's right after this opacity but when you come to this test tune application there is no color filter available however every little thing in face lab is right here in the test tune application except for the color filter okay so let me send you back to Pizzle Lab and I'm going to show you one thing that Test Tune application can do that Pizzle Lab is currently not doing. Now, this is going to be like an advantage for those of you using Android version 10 and above, right? Because literally for you to work with 3D effects and emboss effects in Pizzle Lab is kind of hectic, right? So let's see what we can do over here. So I'm going to just enter a test like Necessary. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and capitalize this. Then probably select one font that will make it a little bit bold. Right. Okay, so I'm picking this one. And what I'm going to do right now is to quickly go ahead and add emboss effect to it. Okay, so let's say I increase the size of it. This is what's going to happen, right? This is what is going to happen maybe unless i bring the size down or increase it to a certain portion right but when you go to test tune application you can do this without any struggle right so quickly let me let me go to the 3d test and show you something as well this 3d effect right if you increase the size of this this is what's going to happen right you can see how the shape or the test got distorted and stuff like this over here okay this is an effect because i'm currently using android version 10 for this tutorial this is what is going to happen unless you're using let's say android version uh, 9 and below that's when you not experience this with pixel lab and pixel lab has been having this effect for quite uh, some months now and literally the developers have actually worked on this and upgraded the system because uh, if you notice it's been a while that since Pizzle Lab actually did some kind of upgrading right so to me if test tune pick it up a little bit uh, like a step further test tune stand a chance to beat uh, Pizzle Lab right so let me quickly delete this shape over here and you know bring in a test right so I'm going to go to edit then enter the same test steering okay I'm going to make it capitalize like this then I have it here now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use the same font for it okay I've already imported some fonts into this uh, application It's the same way that you import font into Pixel Lab so let me say go bold that's the font that I'm going to use so I got it right here and I will just have to increase the size okay now I want to probably change the background of this work because I literally don't like the background I want to change the background quickly re-enter the test so I'm going to tap on edit then edit this to serene quickly make it capitalize tap on ok then go for my font that I use just right now all right so i picked up the font over here and what i'm going to do is to add the gradient there this one the emboss feature this is the emboss right here so i'm going to tap on it and let's see what will happen right so for this test tune application it has no effect right either you reduce the size or increase the size of it it doesn't have any effect on the test right unlike Pixel Lab which they've not actually done anything about that up to now right if you use test tune application uh, you can literally work with your emboss feature like this without having to worry about anything right so this is something that uh, you should probably check out in test tune application it is pretty good right so first 
the next thing to do is let's go to the 3d test effect and see what will happen right so this is what we are having over here the 3d test effect and you can literally play with your size without having any problem with this okay so this is one major problem in pixel app that those using android version 10 and above they cannot use the emboss and you know the 3d effect feature right so i think if test tune all right they take this a step further they can literally kill pixel up right i hope this is obvious right so the, the the only thing that test tune has to do right now is to probably you know bring in the color filter tool and also make this application offline right currently this application is not available on the play store but you can get it from apk pure and i'm also going to leave it in my video description so that you go ahead and download it if you want to use it right so basically that is the comparison and you know everything about puzzle lab and uh, uh, test tune application and you can judge for yourself which one is currently the best right now what i can literally tell you to do right now is maybe if you're using android version 10 and above just like me you can literally you know do your designs in puzzle lab if you want but if you want some 3d effects like this emboss and 3d test effect like this then you probably have to come to test tune application and do this right because test tune application is literally like that of the puzzle lab except test tune application needs internet connection and it doesn't have the color filter too right those are the only two things that uh test tune application is currently not having and you can literally work with test tune application and also work with pixel lab at the same time just make sure you get the best out of your smartphone for your clients all right so basically this is it and i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and don't forget to you know like this video and turn on the notification on this channel right so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive notification all right see you in the next video bless up